Hey, what's up, Zach here. And today I've got the Adidas Prime X Strung, and these things are just insane. But let's start the video. Now the Prime X Strung is one of Adidas's most bold entries into the super shoe space. And as their namesake would suggest, the most striking thing you see right off the bat is the uppers. Now Adidas Strung technology is exactly what it sounds like. It's a bunch of different textile type fibers of different densities, different thicknesses, and different strengths all woven together by a machine using athlete data of where you need more support and where you need less support. Now, this is more of a running technology, not so much in other types of sports, although I think they probably could get there to using it with different materials. However, you look at it under the microscope, you can kind of see it is just threads going through the shoe, except they are so densely threaded throughout the shoe in certain areas and so lightly threaded in other areas. But you also notice there's almost like this fibrin glue that kind of smashes them all together. It almost looks like the glue we use in surgery to close really fine type wounds or wounds you don't want to see any scar or suture marks on. Makes it kind of one cohesive unit and kind of work together so that the textile strands here in the rear foot can also assist in the forefoot when you're kind of pushing off on your launch. And what's cool about the Primex Strong is you can see they wanted a lot of strands here in the rear foot as well here in the dorsal midfoot right where the lace line would go so you get a little bit of a better lockdown. And it kind of gets a little bit more open here in the distal midfoot and then it gets really tight and really bulky here around the forefoot where you need a little more support, especially for a forefoot striker. And if you look at this stuff on the outsole durability test, the Dremel 10 seconds highest grit sandpaper, I mean, the Dremel does not get through this layer. I mean, it looks like it's a really flimsy type upper. However, it is pretty strong. And I think because I did it in the forefoot where the kind of the strongest fibers are used in this, I think that's probably why this did so well. I'll bet you in different parts of the shoe, if you can find the right area, you might be able to get through it. But what's nice about these is the actual heel counter does go up pretty far and you do get some pretty strategic strategic paddings around Kager's triangle, kind of around your sinus tarsi to really lock you into the shoe, plus you get a runner's knot. The outrigger lace eyelets are okay. They are actually pretty strong. The tongue is really thin. However, when you're buying these, you're buying these for the weight reduction and the push off force on these, not so much the comfort in the uppers. And so for the first leg of the universal rating system containment, I am only gonna give these a two out of five. Yes, the uppers are super containing and the Primex quote unquote strung is fantastic in terms of holding your forefoot into the shoe and holding your foot into the uppers of the shoe. However, with how unstable the rear foot of this shoe is, you better be a very advanced runner to extract the most out of these. But for the right runner, the containment is perfect. For the not so right runner or someone that might be a little bit more of a novice or only intermediate, you might have some issues. Now getting into the midsole teardown of the Prime X Strong, you can see these have two distinct different shanks. Number one here is a top loaded shank in the rear foot because these are not meant to be used in the rear foot. These are really only meant to be used in the forefoot. So that shank here up at the top solidifies the Light Strike Pro back here, gives a little bit more support and stability to the shoe in the rear foot that it's not getting otherwise because of all the cutouts for weight reduction and aerodynamics. Then you get the energy rods going through the shoe. Now these go from the rear foot into the forefoot and that's what gives these things the launch that they have. The Light Strike Pro here is in three distinct layers. The Light Strike Pro is a TPEE foam thermoplastic polyester elastomer, which is just a very elastic plastic based foam. Now you also get another shank here, which I forgot to mention just a second ago, in the forefoot of the Primex Strong and that is because these shoes are meant for a certain type of runner, which we'll talk about in a minute, although I'm sure you know where I'm going with that. But everything about these shoes is meant to load energy from the very proximal forefoot to the very distal forefoot, even this top loaded shank back here. It's just meant to keep you stable while you're on the forefoot of the shoe. The rear foot of the shoe in these, when you look at the midsole and outsole, is really just to augment and complement and support the forefoot, not really do anything on its own. And if you look at these on the bounce height test, an average of 36 centimeters on these, which is one of the better shoes I've done this year, basketball, running, tennis, pickleball, or whatever. And then if you look at them on the jump height test, got 19 centimeters, which was only eclipsed by one shoe this year. And that was the Nike Vaporfly Next Percent 2, which came in at a 20. It's really pretty comparable between the two of them. And so for bounce and shock absorption on the universal rating system, I'm giving both of them a five out of five for these. In terms of bounce, when Light Strike Pro is given a lot of energy into it, especially after a little bit of a distance on your run, it kind of gets better and better and better. And because that Light Strike Pro is protected, number one, in the rear foot from the top loaded shank and the energy rods and that four foot kind of mini shank up there. It's really
really allowed to do its job and kind of conform around those shanks and give that really crazy diving board effect. Plus the shock absorption of a TPEE foam is, is really tremendous, especially if you are a four foot striker. If you're a rear foot striker, we'll kind of talk about that in a minute. It's kind of a different story. However, when the shoe is allowed to use all the tools available to it, it does just give a, a crazy bounce. And getting into the outsole tread of the Primex Strong, this is just a pretty standard Delta pattern, both forefoot and the rear foot. It's kind of an ain't broke, don't fix it type pattern. Delta patterns on running shoes are, are really outstanding. They really kind of allow you a easy push off and an easy glide to the next step while still giving a pretty decent grip. Now, Continental Rubber, I found on running shoes has been one of the better compounds for grip, forgiveness, as well as a little bit more durability to, to blunt force, not so much shearing, but to blunt force, they're really good. And if you look at the orientation here on the outsole, the lateral side does go down pretty far. That is to give a lot of forgiveness for a more proximal forefoot striker or midfoot striker, all the way up to a pretty distal forefoot striker. And there's just a ton of forgiveness into here on the medial side to allow a really easy and efficient push off when you get to the push off portion of your gait cycle. And so that brings me to the speed ratio of the Primex Strong. Now these got an insane 3.3 on the speed ratio. I mean, a lot of other shoes are getting like 1.9, 2.1 in terms of speed. Once again, not much better. These and the Vaporfly Next Percent twos are, are kind of at the pinnacle of that test. And so for speed on the universal rating system, shocking nobody, five out of five. And if you look at these on the outsole durability test, the Dremel 10 second highest grit sandpaper, I mean, about a millimeter of damage on kind of like a 1.5 millimeter tread depth at its deepest. So if you are a shearing type runner, if you have really high shear, you shuffle, probably are not gonna be the best things for you. However, if you do have a pretty efficient forefoot to midfoot striking type gait, durometer about a 9.5, continental rubber in terms of the abrasion resistance, the additives they have in there, like I said, the blunt force, they'll still do pretty well even if you are a high distance runner. And so for durability on the universal rating system, I am gonna give them a three out of five. For the right runner, they're probably a four out of five. It's just that, like I said, if you do get into some kind of bad habits with your running, or you start to pivot or twist when you're on your push off phase of gait, or your landings are maybe a little bit more on the rear foot, you're gonna to start to bottom out the light strike in the rear foot. And in terms of the fit of the Primex Strong, narrow, medium, and wide with foot can go true to size on these. If you are a very high arch or a very high volume foot, you might have a little bit of trouble with entry into these. They do have a runner's knot, which they should, so the lockdown on them is pretty decent. If you are somebody with four foot pain, these are just one of the most tremendous shoes out there, especially if you are a four foot striker. Uh, in terms of tendonitis, um, because the stack is so high and because there are so many different types of shanks working for you there, I do think in terms of a super shoe, they are pretty decent. Remember, you can't put an orthotic in these unless it is a razor thin custom made orthotic. So for these, you kind of have to trust that the shoe is gonna do a lot of the work for you, not so much anything you're gonna augment them with. And so in terms of comfort and support on the universal rating system, for comfort, I'm gonna give them a four out of five. When I was running in them, they're about the most comfortable shoes I've ever put on. In terms of kind of walking up to the line or walking to the treadmill, that's a little bit of a different story. Uh, in terms of support, I'm gonna give them a three out of five. Like I said, in terms of the right runner, the support is out of this world and the forefoot, there's really nothing better out there. Even, even the Vaporfly Next Percent too, I, I found these to be more supportive than the forefoot. It's just in the rear foot, it's not really the same story. And in terms of the all important runnability, the Primex Strong, and I think I've probably alluded to this enough, these are meant for a four foot striker. A midfoot striker can get away with these if you strike a little bit more distal in your midfoot, or if you do have just elite level kind of support on your own. If you're someone that trains kind of with more minimalist shoes all the time, then you kind of want a long distance race type shoe and you can do that, but you better have a lot of stability in your own foot to be a midfoot striker in these. I found when I even just tried to strike rear foot in these just for fun, just to try to do it for this video, these were all, I mean, it was almost impossible to do it because the instability in the rear foot is so high because there's such a violent cutout in them for airflow and for weight reduction. So when you strike forefoot on these and you strike clean on your forefoot, they give you the most tremendous smooth ride you could possibly think of. Uh, and they protect the forefoot too, because when you're coming down on a forefoot strike on these, that purple shank in the forefoot really kind of kicks in. Those energy rods kind of support the mid part of your foot. And then that top loaded shank here in the rear foot kind of keeps you steady. So for the right striker on these, really the most smooth ride you could really think of. And it's super efficient. I found that as the distance was going up on these, that's when they really felt better than other shoes. 
you really kind of got to give them a few miles before they really show you what they can do. I'd say someone using these for shorter distances. If you are someone that is a four foot striker, maybe has some four foot pain, these are going to give you a whole lot in return. And of course, I'd love to know your thoughts on the Prime X Strong, especially in comparison to something like, you know, the 40 forward, the Adazero SL, even the Nike Vaporfly Next Percent too. Kind of shoes that are using really heavy tech to try to get you to move faster. So I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you want to see their sibling to the Adidas Prime X Strong, the Adidas 4D Forward, make sure you click into this video up above and subscribe down below. Respect your rubber and foam. I'll see you in the next one.